guys, so we are back with another beautiful house tour at 310 Frank Street in Richlands, North Carolina. Um, this is a four bedroom, brand new construction, two and a half bath, two car garage, uh, in a beautiful part of a small town right next to Jacksonville and is really close to anything you need to get to within 10 to 15 minutes. So let's go take a tour of this beautiful house. All right, guys, so today's kind of sponsor slash preferred uh person or you know person that we are kind of showing off today is tanya brinson she is a movement mortgage lender uh she is the one you need to go to if you're needing financing for a home or this home in particular she is the preferred lender for this home so make sure you give her a call she also can help you finance a home pretty much anywhere in north carolina and I think a little bit further, but we'll let her talk about that uh, at the end of the video. So make sure you give her a call if you're looking to finance a home. All right, and of course, guys, before we get into this video too far, um, we are hoping that you will hit that big red subscribe button, click that notification bell, and share this with all your friends. Leave a comment down below about what you like and don't like about this home and what you like and don't like about this video. We're trying to up our production quality. I'm using a new mic today. So I'm hoping that, you know, by the time uh, we invest into this YouTube channel that we will have a lot more followers. But thank you guys for sticking with me this far. Uh, we are really gonna try to start pushing these out. I'm not gonna say a time frame because every time I do, I mess up and miss a week or something. But today we are viewing this beautiful four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage home in Richlands, North Carolina on 310 Frank Street. So make sure you stay tuned for all the information. So let's hop right into this video. All right, guys, so I am going to start on the outside of this house. This builder has done a lot of features, a lot of upgrades that I think that is not really a standard on a lot of new homes and I really like. So on either side of this home, you do have a water spigot and coming around to the back you do have already a pretty little concreted patio uh that, that he has put in uh you have got a ton of outlets guys on the back of this house this leads right into the kitchen great room area but a ton of outlets you've got two right here you've got one on the porch uh and you just have a lot of things that most builders don't think through they are adding to this house to make life a lot more convenient uh so you do have another water spigot over here and then you have this beautiful kind of pushed in porch you can add some rocking chairs to and really just sit out and relax. Um, so let's go inside and take a look at this beautiful home. Whew, okay. So now that we are in out of the tornado that was going on outside, uh, right off the bat, you walk right in and you have a half bath, which I really like. So your guests are coming in, they have an immediate spot if they need to use the restroom. They have a half bath there, plenty of storage underneath. And I have noticed on this house, there is a ton of storage space. So right here, you got a coat closet right off the front door. You have a beautiful uh, full on dining room, nice little chandelier. This of course leads right into the garage. Walking past the garage, you do have a nice just storage closet. Um, I guess you could use it as a secondary coat closet, but then this leads right into this beautiful kitchen. Very clean, very modern, stainless steel appliances. You have this beautiful, huge island. And of course, uh, granite countertops, which I really love. Um, you do have a standalone pantry, which is nice instead of that little cabinet. You do have a separated pantry. Of course, built-in microwave, soft closed drawers. Uh, if you saw that in the uh, little intro, you do have like a little cupboard here, a little easy organization cupboard. One thing that, I, that they did different that I haven't seen very much of in uh, some of these homes that I've toured is undermount cabinet or undermount stainless steel sink uh, for your kitchen in one big uh, sink, which is nice. And of course you have the detachable water sprayer, stainless steel uh, dishwasher, a lot of natural light coming into this. And as you can see, or here, it is really big, huge, huge living room. I wish my living room was this size. <laughs> um, you do have space really, even if you wanted to put a little breakfast nook here and then have your living room separated there, you really do have the space for it. And I do like that you do have LVP all the way throughout um, this whole downstairs when you're coming into the home and like kind of getting your shoes off and everything like that, getting ready for the night. Um, you do, I do love the white cabinets. 
Um, and I think there's a couple of houses. This may be the only one left, but he built a row of houses here uh, and uh, they are very well built from what I've seen so far. Every room has a ceiling fan in it, every bedroom upstairs um, and the main living room here. So let's take a look upstairs. All right, so one thing that I have noticed about this house is this is a, it is, um, all the main bedrooms are upstairs. Well, all the bedrooms are upstairs. So I kind of like that just for security. And, and if you have kids, if you, they need you in the middle of the night, that is a very big plus. This is actually a four bedroom. I kind of got surprised earlier. So, so used to seeing three bed, two bath, but this is a four bedroom. I'm gonna save the master for last. The secondary bedrooms are really nice. And like I said, each one of them has a ceiling fan good size closet in each one of them and everything is kind of painted a neutral gray color which I think is just nice kind of a starting base if you wanted to go a different color you could one thing that this builder did is add storage everywhere so you have a, ton, a huge linen closet there huge linen closet here and for all the moms out there or anybody that does laundry your laundry room is upstairs with the other bedroom so you do not have to drag clothes up and down the stairs which i think is genius uh you have of course another bedroom with a ceiling fan a lot of natural light hey, excuse me i'm fat so i am out of breath from walking up those stairs <laughs> um you have of course a very nice simple bathroom especially for the kids he did put lvp in the bathrooms which is super nice you have a one-piece fiberglass shower and tub combo um and you have, of course, a built-in towel rack. And I love the doors he used, these two panel kind of arched doors with the wainscoting look in the middle. It just kind of, you know, steps it up another notch in the house. This is the fourth bedroom. And of course, you just, like I said, another ceiling fan. This one has two windows, which of course brings in that much natural light. Okay, so going back to the master. So the master's on the front of the home. Um, you do have a huge master bedroom. This basically is over the two car garage. So you have a plenty of space. Uh, I kind of got tongue tied. You have plenty of space to put either a queen or king size bed and many treasure drawers, TVs. You might even have enough room if you organize it correctly to do a little lounge area. So one thing I love, of course, is the ceiling fans in every room. I think that is a must, especially here in the South. You've got two nice big windows and you do have separated closets. You have one here and then you have a little bit of a bigger one here right above, like I said, the garage and you have separated rooms. And if you like natural light in your closet or you like to be able to see the sun when you first get up in the morning, this is the closet for you. Uh, going to the master bathroom, you have LVP floor again and you have this beautiful uh, uh, marble top or a granite top, oh, excuse me, with the undermount sinks and of course dual vanities, which is a necessity uh, if you're sharing a bathroom. Uh, you have soft closed cabinet doors again, and you have the walk-in shower. So overall, just a beautiful, beautiful home. Uh, this house is still in the market as far as I know. It may be gone by the time you see this video, so don't, you know, you know, don't kill me if it is, but uh, we're gonna continue doing these tours. So before we get going, I wanna meet Tanya downstairs in the kitchen and she's gonna talk a little bit about herself. So I forgot to show the outside. So this is the main door leading out to the back patio. You do have, I think like most of the way to that fence. So you do have a good little backyard. You have a nice little patio here. And maybe if you make friends with a neighbor, he'll get you something out of his garden. So I think that's pretty awesome. <laughs> but either way, this is the little back patio. And of course this is that stunning kitchen again. Uh, so give me just one second. We'll get Tanya on and she'll explain a little bit about herself and how she is the preferred lender for this home. All right, so this is Tanya Branson, the wonderful mortgage lady. So I'm gonna let her take over. Hello, hello. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Joining Austin today to tell you a little bit about Carolina Pride Home Builders and how they have partnered with my team at Movement Mortgage. Carolina Pride Home Builders and Daniel Jacoby builds a wonderful home for you to live in. And they are now offering up to $12,000 towards closing costs. And as a preferred lender, we're kicking in an extra 1,500. 
That's a total of $13,500 that you potentially get to use towards closing costs. I also have access to a grant program. Grant meaning these funds were just dropped in by the state of North Carolina, and when they are gone, they are gone. But I, as a preferred lender, working with this grant program, I can potentially help a first-time home buyer, first-time home buyer, with $30,000 in down payment assistance and up to 5% in closing costs. This grant program is eligible for 16 counties in the state of North Carolina and for first-time homebuyers. If you're interested in learning more about the homes here in Onslow County with Daniel Jacoby and Carolina Pride Home Builders, or with working with me and my team and finding out more about the grant program, we would love to help you. Feel free to give us a call, 252-560-1740. Carolina Girl, signing off. Give us a call. Have a great day. All right, guys, so that is it for this video today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we thank you again for watching. See you guys.